What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Instant Pot Ultra Mini, which is a three quart pressure cooker. And today, with my steamer basket insert, I'm gonna make steam cabbage. So this is a half of a small cabbage, guys, because remember we're putting it in a in the mini, the three quart um, basket insert. I put a link in the description to that. So if you want one, of course you can get one on Amazon.com. But we'll cut this up real quick. I'm gonna cut this out. Pac-Man. <laughs> All right, guys. This is how I like my cabbage. You can chop it up a little bit more on yours if you want. No biggie. Now what I'm about to do is totally optional. Um, I'm going to add a um, couple dabs of liquid smoke. Of course I'm going to mix all of this up. Well actually before I do that, I'm going to spray uh, with some olive oil. Do that all and mix around. I don't like my, you know, I want to have a little bit of oil in it. Olive oil is not bad. Yeah. I'm going to add a little couple dabs of uh, smoke. Mix that up. And finally, keep it simple, I'm going to add some complete seasoning. Now you don't have to do this guys, you can just steam your cabbage with nothing. But I like a little flavor in my food, so it's just how I roll. And that's about all you need. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Y'all know what it is. All right, I got my inner pot out. I'm just gonna put a half a cup of water in there. Actually, let's make that a cup. All right, and then I'm gonna put my insert in there. Like so. See? See the water's not touching the bottom with one cup of water. So you're good there. And remember, if you haven't seen my other videos on the steamer basket, it has a handle, rubber handle that's cool to the touch. So we're good there as well. I'm just going to add my cabbage. And you see, it's about a little bit above half. Smells yummy already. Hit me! Alright guys, so I want to do this for on steam for about 20 minutes. You can probably get away with 15, but 20 minutes is good for me. Um, with my uh, Ultra Mini, I have the option of no pressure, low pressure, or high pressure. I'm gonna go stick with none. Um, no, I don't want to delay and keep warm we'll go to off alright so now I just hit start and that's it I got some turkey legs that I'm gonna cut up that I took out of my deep freezer and I thawed it out and um, I just put it to warm in my um, one of my slow cookers for I don't know a couple like 30 minutes or whatever so I'm gonna cut this up and this was originally done in a slow cooker so it's just fall off the bone it's, it's it just falls completely off you put it you wrap it in foil put it in a slow cooker for seven hours that's what happens see nothing too fancy got some mac and cheese on deck that I did in my perfect cooker did it a while ago, not a while ago, like probably two hours ago. So I'll warm some of that up. It's so good. All right, it took about three minutes, but it is um, at the steam level. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. Listen to that steam, y'all. Sound like it's under pressure. 
man, it is smelling good up in here. Mm -mm -mm. I smell everything. All right, you hear it going? Well, we're done. Let's take it off. Let's see what we got. Ugh. Oh yeah. Man, I wish I could smell it. Remember I told you about the handle? See? It's not burning my hand or nothing. My fingers or anything. So just to let you know guys, you can probably you can get a full small um, cabbage in that basket. Cause like I said, that was about half a basket, so and this, you know, this is this is enough for me for about, you know, two servings, two no, about three servings. And that's good enough for me. All right, guys, we are ready to eat. So first, let me go ahead and have some of this mac and cheese. I know y'all want a bite. So I give y'all one first. Come on, take a bite of that. Man, that's good. I'm going to have some of this cabbage. Come on, y'all. Have a bite. Got it? Mmm. Man, that's perfect. For you people that like to salt up stuff, you could add a little bit of salt to it, but... It's perfect for me. Mmm. And that liquid smoke adds just a little kick to it that I like. You really can't taste it that much, but it's like a hint of it in there. I like that. Alright, y'all try that one. With the turkey. Mmm. It's just too good. Anywho, a link will be in the description, like I said, to the basket so you can get it on um, Amazon. I'll put a link to the three quart and the six quart. So, um, and it, it doesn't matter, um, you know, for the six quart basket, it doesn't matter the pressure cooker because we all know that, you know, Instant Pot is the only one that has a three quart pressure cooker. But for a six quart, you can use the basket on any six quart as long as your pressure cooker has a steam function. So. So yeah, definitely utilize that. Anyway, I'm also going to put a link in the description to my pressure cooker group if you have any type of pressure cooker, not just an Instant Pot. You could have a Kasori, you could have a Go Wise, any one of them. Cook Essentials, whatever. Come join my group, share your recipes, um, check out ours. Um, it's a growing group and we like to have fun in there. And we like to get the latest pressure cookers, the latest Instant Pots, the latest whatever. We're going to get it. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug.